Have you ever gone through a rebellious phase? Or done anything rebellious? I've only been rebellious once, and that wasn't even intentional. That is not the story we'll be talking about today. Instead, we'll be talking about the time I wanted to be rebellious, but somebody had to ruin it. We'll get back to that later. At this time in my life, I wanted to sneak out with my sisters and friends. This idea formed from watching Tim Tom's video of sneaking out with my first car. After watching that, I asked my sister how mom and dad would feel if we were to sneak out. She said they wouldn't care. I also asked my parents the same question, and they said they wouldn't care either. So with that knowledge, a plan started to form in my two centimeter brain. I know it's not that rebellious since it's not like I'm breaking a rule, but I thought it would be fun. It was going to be me and two of my sisters sneaking out. My older sister as the driver, and my younger sister as the one who doesn't want to be left out. We called up our friends to join us on their nighttime journey, which they agreed, but they weren't going to be sneaking out, because unlike our parents, if they were to get caught, they would cease to exist. So it looks like things are going to be great, but my sister ruined the whole thing by telling our parents, because even though she's the one who said they wouldn't care, she didn't want to go without telling them. Well, fine, goody two-shoes. Just kidding, Rachel, I love you, and thanks for helping with the script. So Friday night at 9, that's a tongue twister, we head out. Despite our parents already knowing, we still tried to be sneaky. For the thrill. My older sister put the car in neutral and told Adrian and I to push it while she stayed in the car. But we were parked out front where there were these small bumps that prevented us from moving. Well, that's not going to work. We got the car out and faced it down the street and then tried pushing it again. But the problem with that, the car was facing downhill and the car started moving faster than we were pushing. Wait, don't leave us! So after that failure, we drove off to our friend's house. And it turns out we didn't learn our lesson because as we approached their house, we decided to turn off our headlights and then push the car the rest of the way. But the problem here is that their house is at a slight incline. We couldn't get it to budge. My older sister even tried to help us push. And we got like maybe six inches. We stopped when it started rolling backwards. So we just very boringly drove with the headlights off. We got out. My sister locked the car and we went to sneak up and tap on the window to signal them that we were ready to go. And that's when... Put the hands in the air! That didn't happen. But there we were blinded by their sensory light. Dang it! Why are we so bad at being sneaky? We still went and tapped on the window, but for how dark it was in their room, we figured they weren't in there. So we once again, very boringly, knocked on the door. My friend let us in, but we couldn't leave because her sister was still gone. Once she finally came, we headed out to the car. And despite all our failures, we still went out acting like ninjas. We quietly and stealthily make our way to the car. My sister quietly unlocks the car, where we finally... <laughs> For some reason, this car alarm started going off. It turns out, in my sister's attempt at being sneaky, she unlocked the car using the key instead of the button, since the button would cause a beeping sound. But apparently, my brother's car is weird, and if you lock it with the button, you have to unlock it with the button, or it's going to throw itself a little tantrum, which is stupid. Who thought that was a good idea? After that heart attack, we were off. Or the way my sister put it, we drove off into the night, noticed by all. After all those failures, we decided to go bowling to have fun hurling a giant marble down nice polished floors. But it turns out Friday nights are very busy, and the line was way out the door, and heck didn't know we were waiting that long for bowling. So instead, we just went to Target and played hide and seek. So yeah, that's the only time I snuck out. And what did we learn today? Don't hire us to rob a bank, because we'd be seen from a mile away. So, sorry that this video took so long. I've been pretty busy, and the computer I was using to create these animations, Krita kept on shutting down on me. I did get a new computer, and it allowed me to actually animate. And it didn't keep on shutting down, but it still moved very slow. If anyone knows any better softwares than Krita, please let me know. And also, if Studio Paint could actually do longer animations than just 3 seconds. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have an interesting day.